miracle. Once, a poor woodcutter was going home. He had got a tree for Christmas. Suddenly, he got caught in a bad storm. He prayed to God to help him. Suddenly, the cart came to rest. In front of him stood an angel. The angel said, You were saved because you were a good, kind man. Thank God again and you will reach home safely. The woodcutter thanked God and reached home safely. But he was in for a surprise when he reached home. His home was well decorated. Inside the house was a Christmas tree as well. His wife and children were dressed in rich clothes. There were lots of goodies to eat. There were many gifts too. The woodcutter told his family about his adventure. They all thanked God for his help. Since then, the woodcutter and his family lived a happy life. It was indeed a Christmas miracle. The Special Cake Snow was everywhere. It was Christmas time again. There was excitement everywhere. There was hustle and bustle in the Bell's household. Father brought in the Christmas tree. The children were highly excited. After all, Christmas time was a time to celebrate. They put up the lights. They decorated the tree with lovely articles. There was something which the children always enjoyed very much. On the Christmas Eve, they all wore caps and danced merrily. Father and mother gave special presents to the children. But they too had a surprise in store for them. For when they had given their presents to the children, they got gifts too. The finest part was the Christmas cake. It had been specially ordered by the children. It was in the shape of a home and had a photograph of the whole family in front. The parents loved it immensely. They shouted, Merry Christmas, children! Fun Christmas Donna was looking out of the window on Christmas. It was nice to see the snow falling. She said to Bert, Look out of the window. Bert was nice and comfortable in his chair wrapped him in his nice warm blanket. He didn't feel like getting up. I don't want to get up right now, said Fawn. I am nice and warm and comfortable. But Donna insisted. So Bird got up and took a look. He had to admit that it was beautiful outside. The ground was covered in snow and big flakes were falling from the sky. Bert said, It does look so beautiful out there. Let us go and build a snowman. So Donna and Bert went outside and they played in the fresh white snow. Then, they had a lot of fun building the snowman. 
The fun ended with chocolate and marshmallows. What a fantastic way to spend Christmas! The Bird House It was winter time. The feel of Christmas was in the air. Lillian had a post box at her gate. She used to check it every day for post. One day, as she was taking out the post, she saw some birds huddled inside the box. Lillian was delighted to see the birds. She exclaimed, It seems some birds are taking shelter in here. Poor things have nowhere to go in this freezing weather. Then Lillian thought, What should I do? I should not disturb them. She thought hard. Then an idea struck her. She went to the garage and took out an old box. She decided to use it as a birdhouse. Then she went to the post box. She opened the door for the birds to come and go in the old box. Then she wrote a note on the box saying, This is a birdhouse. Keep away. She wished the birds Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.